trying to influence them for Jesus. Oh, it sounds real noble. Mm -hmm. And he said, you got to purge yourself of these. Mm -hmm. You got Korah and the rebels in the camp. Moses and Aaron are not going to hobnob with Korah and the rebels. Yeah. You know, some people you really got to stay away from. Amen. I'm talking Amen. about leading type. Yeah. Influential type people. Man purge himself of these, he shall be a vessel of honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use, and prepared, prepared, prepared mm -hmm. unto every good work. So if God has a work to do, he's not going to use someone whose mind's cluttered up with erroneous ideas, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and who has gross misconceptions of salvation and Christ and redemption and how salvation works and what it's all about and what's the main thing. If a person's clouded on these issues, well, they're just going to be passed by when it comes to employment. Uh -huh. yeah. God isn't going to use people like this. He's not going to disseminate ignorance. Is this the kind of God that was represented in Scripture that's not particular about what His servants say? Aren't there countless rebukes in scriptures about people who spoke for God but didn't say what God said needed to be said? That delivered their own message, yet this stuff is going on all around? Mm -hmm. Once you be prepared for every good work, be ready, which involves cleansing yourself of defiling influences. It's a personal Amen. thing. Nobody else can cleanse you. I can't cleanse you or you can't cleanse me. But we both have to be cleansed mm -hmm. of these kind of influences. That's part of girding uh -huh. Uh -huh. or preparing. Here's Second Peter 1, 5. Beside this, giving all diligence, giving all diligence. Add to your faith, virtue to virtue, knowledge, knowledge, temperance, temperance, godliness, and so forth. That's girding. Adding those things are girding. Binding them on you. In other words, the, the uh, various virtues that are required to be in God's people do not like land on you and kind of sit loosely on your shoulders as you stroll through life. You got to put them on. Amen. Okay. Mm -hmm. You got to gird yourself with them, bind them on, wrap them around. If you depend, if you think God leading you, if you think that that means that God just sporadically dumps a little bit here and a little bit there when you need it, and it kind of goes with you no matter what. If this is how you think the kingdom works, you'll, you'll suffer disappointment after disappointment. That's not the way it works at all. You've got to put it on. Faith appropriates what God gives. Amen. Amen. And it utilizes what God gives. Now let me give you some examples of this. People who did something with what God gave them. It might not have been as much compared to, compared to what we have in Christ, but... They used what they had. Mm -hmm. And Hebrews 11th chapter has a number of these doing words, which are girding words. These words I'm going to mention now are, are like synonyms for girding. Mm -hmm. They prepared themselves, put something on, and so forth. Hebrews 11th chapter, the fourth verse speaks of Abel offering. Mm -hmm. he, that was, he was engaged in the thing. Faith made him do this. Enoch, it says of Enoch, verse 5, he pleased. Mm -hmm. These are things he did. Pleased God. Noah, verse 7, says he built. Okay, this has to do with girding. Mm -hmm. All these people were preparing for something that was, that was coming. Amen. And uh, it says of Abraham, in verse 8, he obeyed and he went. Mm -hmm. <laughs> these are all girding, see, getting ready. It says of Israel, they sojourned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It says that they did. They were yeah. preparing for the promised land by so, sojourning. Going through a place you didn't belong, in which That's you right. did not Amen. belong. It was yeah. a temporary mm -hmm. circumstance. See, to get to Canaan, you had to sojourn or travel through a foreign area mm -hmm. in which God never intended for you to stay. That's girding. Girding, preparing. Yeah, but in verse 10 it says that Abraham looked, he looked for a city that has foundations whose builder and maker is God. Mm -hmm. How about he says, says in verse 11, he judged, I'm showing you what girding is, it all involves doing something mm -hmm. and appropriating something. Mm -hmm. yeah. He judged him faithful at promise. We'll see, you must ask yourself the question, have I, have I judged him faithful? Mm -hmm. yeah. That involves girding yourself, mm -hmm. see? 
You're not going to serve God if you haven't thought this thing out. Yes, amen. You've got to think this out. God's made certain commitments. Will he or will he not keep them? Abraham had to judge. All right, God's asked me to pull up stakes. I'm not like a child. I'm 75 years old. He's asked me to pull up stakes and go someplace. He hasn't told me where it is. He's told me to give me a land. Now you've got to think this out. Is God faithful? Will he do what he says he'll do? See, uh -huh. some people have never got to that point. They've never arrived at that point yet. Amen. Is God going to follow through with what he promised? They haven't even thought that far Amen. yet. That's being ungirded. See? Mm -hmm. Ungirded. How about it? verse 19? Abraham offered mm -hmm. Isaac. Offered because he did it, because he judged him faithful. That even if this meant kill Isaac, he'd raise Isaac from the dead. God's faithful. He accounted him. He accounted him to be faithful. How about Jacob? He blessed his sons. Something he did. He was girding. He was girding himself for the future. He blessed them concerning things to come. See. He worshipped when he was dying. He worshipped. When he was dying, he worshipped, leaning on his staff, mm -hmm. and he made, Joseph made mention, mm -hmm. made mention of Israel's deliverance from uh, Egypt and said, take my bones. What was mm -hmm. it? He was girding. Yes, amen. He was girding, see. How about when Moses' parents had the child, they saw he was a proper child, and what they gird. He made preparations. See, they said, oh, this is not a normal child at all. Yes, Pharaoh said to drown him in the river. We're, we're, we'll be breaking the law if we don't do it. You know, we're supposed to obey the king. That's not how they thought. They said, well, the king here is asked to do something that looks to me like is, un, is not right under this circumstance. So we're going to gird ourselves. Yes. And take care of this proper child. How about Moses? He refused. He come of years now, mm -hmm. forty years of age. He come of years, and he and he had all these advantages of of Egyptian prominence. Raised in Pharaoh's house, he refused. Yeah. See, they knew they were going to be coming out too. Joseph had disseminated this little piece of choice knowledge. We're going to come out of Egypt. We don't exactly know when. We have a general idea: four hundred and thirty years. But we're going to be coming out of here. And so Moses considered this. He refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He was girding himself, see, for the, for the deliverance. And um, he, he esteemed the sufferings of Christ of greater riches than all the treasures of Egypt. He was girding. See, you, at some point, you'll have, to make, you'll have to make this decision. If you haven't yet, at some point, you have to make this decision. Is suffering for Jesus' sake worth it? Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have to come up with an, with an answer for that. And, and if you, when you come up with the right answer, you're girding. Yeah. You're girding yourself. And then they for, Moses forsook, forsook Egypt. See, now a modern person would say, look, I have faith. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. God can make me equal. If I'm here, I may convert the Egyptians. Mm -hmm. See, this is how personal. This is be. This is an open door. Look where I've been put. I've been put here for a purpose. Obviously, for a purpose, I'm here. So, I think I'll stay in Egypt and see what I can do to influence the people. By faith, he forsook Egypt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of us have had to forfeit yep. worldly advantage. Mm -hmm. 